This week on Freak Watch, we've come deep into the heart of the Cotswolds to meet a man not raised by wolves, but by dogs. This is Ben. And I've come here to learn a little bit more about his way of life, the obstacles he faces as a dog in a human's world. During our time together, Ben would spend hours, sometimes days, doing just this, running with what he described as his true family. But eventually, Ben gave us an insight into his real life. Now, shelters like these are the bread and butter of outdoor survival, especially when you're in somewhere as dangerous as the Cotswolds. All you need is a coat and a tree. You've got shelter, warmth and protection for up to 10 minutes when you need it most. We carry on now. Ben even told us he could detect the breed of a dog simply by the taste on the grass left behind it. The border collie, for sure. And sure enough, he was right. I wouldn't doubt this man for a second. After watching Ben enjoy some more quality family time, we began to discuss some of the issues facing him and his natural habitat. But the more we spoke, the angrier he seemed to become. Olga. The local authorities had already made us aware of the beast lurking within Ben's large body, and his constant mood swings made us anxious not to overstay our welcome. <laughs> Seriously, though, it is a problem. We decided to try to help Ben with his transition into the modern world, and to do that, we had to take him out of his comfort zone to somewhere he'd never been before. Ben's first beer, at his first human party, from this moment, he was never the same again. The effects were slow, as you might expect on a man this size. But despite urinating on the floor several times, Ben was soon transformed forever. Ben will never be like any of us. He may never truly fit into society, but who's to say that's a bad thing? Perhaps this year, we could all take a leaf out of Ben's book. Happy New Year.